Juddle Place. I like this song way too much. Welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy 2, I am Juddle Plays, and in the last episode, we started World 3 by taking on the Cloudy Court Galaxy, getting everything we can right now, or as of this point, and then we went to the Tall Trunk Galaxy. But as you see, we still have one more star in the Tall Trunk Galaxy, so we are going to be going back to that and possibly seeing why there's a huge wooden what looks like a slide around the whole galaxy. Tall Trunk's big slide. That is why there's a huge slide around the galaxy. And personally, whenever I think of Tall Trunk, I always think of this slide way more than I think of anything else. And hello, cop, car, and or ambulance that just went past my house. Oh, look at this. We have Luigi, though. And I promised in the last episode that I would play as Luigi whenever he shows up, so I'm not going to break the promise. Hey, bro, you're looking for a star around here, huh? You want me to take over for a little while? You can play as Luigi. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why they have that there, but okay. You want to switch, bro? Well, of course I want to switch. Why would I have talked to you if I couldn't switch? I believe that you can play as Luigi is a little bit different each time. Or, by that, I mean, I think it only shows up for one time. Now, I might as well tell some of the differences with Luigi. I already mentioned that if you shake in the water, you lose air. But, Luigi runs faster, but as you see, he's a little bit more slippery, so you have to be careful with that. But, I mean, I don't have any problem with his slipperiness. Mostly because I did a whole entire Let's Play of Super Mario Gal- well, Super Luigi Galaxy. And I did not have a problem. Sometimes I always think it was only a Super Mario Galaxy I did, but then I'm like, wait a second. On this channel, I actually did Luigi Galaxy. I did do a Let's Play of Mario Galaxy before, but I wanted to switch it up back in the day. I think it was like early 2016 is when I did that Let's Play. I just wanted to play as Luigi because it makes the game harder. It really sucked, though, because I had to play through the entire game as Mario before I could actually do it because I had no files that were just started as Luigi. But then again, it was a very good test playthrough. Be brave, jump in. What do you have to say? Sharp red things, no touch. And what about you? We watch slide. Okay, well, let's go on this. Oh God, we're sliding. I do not think there's any slide missions in Galaxy 1 like this, but oh God. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, spiny red things you don't want to touch, you don't want to hit any enemy because there's no way of really hitting them. But let's just say this isn't too hard, at least not for me, because I personally really like this mission. It's just really fun, fast-paced to uh, pay attention to what you're doing and don't accidentally focus too much on star bits because that will happen. Uh, you'll get hit by the spiny red things when you're trying to jump over them, and you will be in a, for a world of hurt. Also watch the Wigglers too, because they will be kind of devious and try to hit you. As you see here, they're just rushing after us. I'm thinking actually right now of a different mission, because let's just say this is not the only time you'll see this slide. There is one more time, which I believe will come up not too much later, but we currently can't access it at this point in time. <clears throat> anyway, there's less enemies on that slide then because of a certain other thing you have to do. Sorry about that. God, my throat was getting all funky. There's a one-up back here. I actually did not know there's a one-up there. I just felt like checking things because after playing a lot of games and trying to be a completionist, I just do that a lot. Now, what do you say? We judge you. Very brave. Thanks for judging me? Bravery symbol star. Yours. Well, let's actually talk to this guy, because it's the only one who matters. The one with the triangle head with slightly rounded edges is the only one that matters. Here is symbol of courage. Take star. Yeah, th this this second mission is really easy. All, you just need to go down the slide. And, I mean, beginners may find the slide a little bit hard, but as you saw with me, I'm I've just done the slide many times, so I don't really have much trouble with it. I'm also 20 years old and have been playing this game since, like, basically a little bit after it first came out. So that might be another reason why I'm decently good. 3-3-3. Three, three, three. Only if the 9-8 was also two threes, that would have been really funny. But you can't always get what you want. Also, 
I never mentioned, when you play through a galaxy as Luigi, a ghost will appear. And I believe that ghost is what you played as Luigi, and you can basically race him to see if you beat the time, but... I never do that, because I find that there's, like, no reason to. Anyway... <clears throat> oh, well... What is this little thing? A prankster comet has appeared. I'm not entirely sure if this pops up after you get a certain amount of stars, or after you get a certain amount of distance within World 3. All I know is you have to do a little bit of stuff in World 3 before this actually happens. A prankster comet has been spotted. Prankster comets can transform a galaxy into a wildly different place. Come to think of it, you've been collecting comet medals, right? Collecting lots of those comet medals makes some more comets appear. Now you can work on getting a star from every comet. Go for it, Captain. Yes. We now finally know the purpose to comet medals, and it really sucks because Lubba has something else to say, so I can't describe what I wanted to talk about right now. Looks like you brought a back a... Let me, re let me redo that. Looks like you brought back a Whittle with you. I love those guys. There they are, just behind the left ear. I think he wants to talk to you about Comet Metals, so give him a listen. Shouldn't take long. Oh, wait. I guess Comet's on... Oh my god, Jesus. Hey, bro. I'm all over the place these days, exploring the universe. Next time you'll see me out there, talk to me and let me leap into action, okay? Catch you later, bro. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. That was... So much in just one little span of time. Now let's go and talk to the Whittle, which is what I wanted to do, but sadly, since we played as Luigi, it brought us back to the top instead of at the place that we usually are when we interact with Lubba down here. Or basically whenever somebody first shows up on Starship Mario. But, like I said, behind the left ear, we have the Whittle. Let's talk to him. Collect many comet medals. Comet arrive. First time in galaxy, always one comet medal somewhere. Look hard, find. So yeah, I'm guessing after you get the first, I mean, after you get the second star of um, Tall Trunk, that happens. Because the Whittle guy talks about the comet medals. So yeah, th that's the purpose. You have to get the comet medal in the galaxy before the comet will appear. Unlike in Super Mario Galaxy 1, you can actually access other stars while the comet is there. Now, while I accidentally unlock this, because I was trying to go down, not to the right, but yeah, I guess we have enough stars to do that now. What do we have, 28 exactly? No, we have one more. Anyway, the way I'm actually going to be doing comets is I'm not going to be tackling any comets until I finish a world. So, this comet in this galaxy right here, Cloudy Court, it's not going to be done until we finish world three. Anyways, Let's move on to Freezy Flaky Galaxy, because I said we were going to go <clears throat> from the bottom to the top, then back to the bottom, then back to the top, then back to the bottom, then back to the top for all six galaxies in this little world. Bowser on Ice. It's a li This is a little random to talk about, but for some odd reason, this whole episode, my throat has been just very mucusy in a way. I know that's not exactly the best thing to hear, but I don't know, it's like... Nothing really changed since the last time I recorded, which was literally yesterday, so I don't know. God dang. I wish my throat would just not act up. Anyway, let's um, go to this here, and I almost said that's the first time we've seen a fire flower. That is not the first time we've seen a fire flower. Also, I just noticed there was a snowball there. I wonder if that's something we could do, possibly. I'm not entirely sure about rolling a snowball, because I don't think we need to do that. Now, okay, I'm thinking of a totally different mission right now. In the second mission, you have to destroy some of these things for a star chip, but as of right now, we don't need to worry about that. Let's just use our fireballs and get some more star bits, because my life motto is, you never have enough star bits. Unless you have 9,999 star bits, then you actually have enough star bits, because that's the max amount of star bits you can get. I believe after that, whatever star bits you collect in a galaxy is not counted towards your total, it just goes off into the distance. Actually, 
Technically, the max amount you can have is double of 9,999, but that is because you can put 9,999 in the toad bank, and you can put 9,999 in your actual inventory of star bits, so... Yeah, you technically have more, and we're not going to be wasting any more time. I'm just going to be going over here, because what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to destroy this huge snow Bowser statue and create very low visibility, and then finally, like, go on this slide. Which, it's funny how the first time we do a slide is right before the second time we do a slide. So that's just a little, little interesting, a little something-something. Now... I actually like the, where the, 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 the I like the destination of this comet metal in this galaxy because I believe what you have to do is you have to destroy this here. Oh no, is it this one? There it is. You have to destroy that, and then the comet metal is behind that area. So it's a little, a little bit harder than you think it is. And I'm surprised that hit that. I'm just gonna kill that little burr because I do not want him messing with my style. And god dang. Let's just kill all these because I do not believe they regenerate, but what we're actually supposed to do is, as you see, you're probably not blind. There is a pipe right under this thing of ice. I thought it was under the other one, but that was not the case. But going here, we actually have a use for these snowballs. What we have to do is, well, technically you're supposed to use the snowballs to create paths that you can use, but I think... I think I can long jump over here. Like, I don't think I need these snowballs. And I believe I can just jump over to this one and then kind of spin jump up here. I'm actually going to see if I need the snowballs or not. I don't think I do because all these other platforms look like there's barely anything on them. So, yeah, you don't need a snowball at all. I would show what it looks like using the snowball, but I don't think I'm going to because, again, there's almost, like, no point to. Basically, if you roll the snowball around, it creates a snow path on the lava, which surprisingly takes a long time to melt, especially because it's snow on top of lava. But, yeah, that's what you're supposed to do, but as you saw, even as Mario, which, if you don't know, Mario has a longer jump than Luigi, at least I... No, no, no. Luigi has a longer jump than Mario, which I believe is true. I know Luigi has a higher jump, but I'm not entirely sure about the longer jump. That is really freaky. How did I manage to get 3 minutes and 33 seconds again? Like, how? I, I don't know. That was... That's a little freaky. Okay, we're gonna not worry about that and just move on with our day. I swear to god if the next mission I do is another 333, I may shit myself because I may be haunted. This might be a sign of bad things to come. Also, after we finish these missions, you are going to see a lot of those comets appear because we've collected a lot of comet medals, so they're just gonna pop up here, there, and everywhere which makes what I do after the worlds very successful because I have a lot of freaking missions to do. Let's just say when we actually get to those missions, we're going to have we're going to get a lot of stars per episode because those missions go by really fast. Now, I was going to take on the secret star in Bowser on Ice because there is a secret star, but I'm actually going to do the second star first, Sorbetti's Chili Reception because this star is longer, and I only want to do one more star in this episode before I end it. At least depending on how long this star takes. I'm not entirely sure how long this is going to take, and oh god. I just remembered something. Uh, I don't know if any of you have watched this series on my channel, uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2 Versus, which may, some people may actually have been wondering why I decided to do a Let's Play of Galaxy 2 if I did a whole Versus, but uh, that's besides the point. Uh, I did that Versus with my friend Jared, and when I got to this galaxy in the Versus, I remember uh, someone called his house, and that was back when his Wi-Fi was wired weirdly, which made it so every time someone called his house and someone was on the phone, he didn't have Wi-Fi which made it so our Skype call would drop, and then we'd have to do a whole bunch of crap. Eventually, his internet was fixed, and we could record no problem not having to worry about a call, but that's in the past. It's been four years since then. My god, I'm old. 
Someone said there's a snow monster with a red nose out there. I can't go outside with that thing on the loose. Well, <laughs> you do not have to worry, young bunny. I'm gonna call you a bunny because we are Rock Mario. Yes, in the second mission of this galaxy, you actually are Rock Mario. And I forgot that you cannot use Rock Mario... I mean, you cannot keep Rock Mario once you go into a launch star. I don't know if it's that I forgot or I just never remembered. I am surprised that actually turned out to be a one-up. Okay, do not touch those guys. If you do touch them, they will freeze you. Not to death, but they will freeze you and cause some damage. Now, is the only rock power-up up here? It might be. But yeah, as I said earlier in the last mission, what we have to do is we have to destroy these things and get some star chips. And actually, the rock Mario is all the way down here, which is gonna suck a bit. Now, I don't think there is a star chip in that one tree, mostly because I believe that is the pipe that leads to the secret mission of this galaxy, which is something really freaky. This is one of the few galaxies in this game where you can actually access the secret mission from both stars, which is very rare. Usually, at least in Galaxy 1, whenever there were uh, multiple stars, you could only access the secret mission from one of the stars, but this is a little bit of an exception. Oh my god. Actually, what am I doing? I know, I believe the one of the last ones is in here. No. Is it in here? Please tell me. It's oh my god, okay, I was right. It's actually over here. Oh my god, like... I am very rusty at this game. I know where the last one is, and I'm purposely leaving it for last. I don't exactly know why, but I am now. I believe if my Starbit cursor will work. Well, that doesn't really matter for this, but I be- Where is the second to last star chip? Oh wait, is it in this the only one I haven't done? Yes, it is, and oh, I actually forgot. If you roll in the snow for a bit, it actually creates kind of like a snowball effect, which is really cool. Can I stop? That that was not... That did not give me any progress whatsoever. Uh, let's just make our merry way back here without rolling, because I don't want that to happen. Yeah, uh, I don't think you can actually stop the Rock Mario unless you hit something. I'm not entirely sure about that, but... I've had times where I miss my target and then I'm just rolling until the time runs out, which it does have a time limit for rolling just, I guess, to stop glitches from happening or to stop you from consistently rolling the whole time. But yeah, besides the point, let's go through this snowy maze, which I don't believe is too hard. Now I think down here is something. Nope. That's a different area. Okay, I thought there was an area you can jump down to and then get a whole bunch of lives, but that must not have been the area. Anyway, think over. I think that's... No, this is the area you'd have to jump down, but we're not going to worry about that because I believe I know where I have to go. The wind and snow makes everything white. That deep whoosh from here goes right through my head. Boing? Or boyoing is technically the name. Now... This looks like a dead end, but it's actually not, and we made it here. I'm going to risk not getting that extension shroom. So, you might know what's already going to happen. Extension shroom, we're most likely going to fight a boss, but this seems a little different. This is a really weird, like, angular snowball, but in actuality, that wasn't just any ordinary angular weird snowball that was the boss god i forgot is this sorbetti is the name sorbetti's chili okay it is sorbetti's chili reception okay this is sorbetti uh it's honestly i really don't like this boss too much or at least i remember not liking it too much it's kind of easy all you have to do is just hit him in the red eye which can be easier said than done because eventually he does start rolling really fast like this and i'm surprised i hit him with that now, I think this is the last hit. Can I, uh... Oh my god. I have never beaten that boss that fast. <laughs> I made Sorbetti look like such a, like, a pushover. I usually have so much trouble fighting that boss, and I just did that no problem. 
What is it with me saying that I have trouble with a boss, and then I go to the boss, and I do it really easily? I don't even think that last hit should have counted. I, like, barely scraped it. Where I was, I most likely should have got hit. I swear, if this is 3 minutes and 33 seconds, something weird's gonna happen. Okay, 5 minutes and 50 seconds. I still find it freaky how both of those were 333, like, what's the odds of that? Yes, we got a star. I almost said you got a star in the, um, way you would when you get a star, but, or the way some people would when they get a star, but I decided, you know, there's really no point in that, and oh look, another comet. Goddamn, they're going like crazy with comets. Now, oh wait, what, what, what are you? What do you have to say? Mario, I have a letter for you. Manual of Secret Techniques. Jump and spin, jump and spin. Wall jumping and spinning in midair will show you all sorts of secret places, so says the wisdom of the bunny tribe. Boy oing. Star bunny. I have no idea why his voice turned to this, but it did. Come see me next time, there's a mail delivery. Now, do you have anything else? Okay, you do not. I know eventually he's gonna give me a letter for a mission in another galaxy, but I'm not entirely sure when that's gonna come up. Now, with it being most likely 20-ish minutes into this episode, that is about it for this episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. In the next episode, we are going to be getting the secret star in the Freezy Flake Galaxy, which will not take too long, and then we are going to start the Haunty Halls Galaxy, and see what that galaxy has in store for us. We at least know there's two stars. So, this has been Juddleplay saying see you later and goodbye.